Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Ace and we got something cool to showcase today. This right here is Minus Forms UM350. To give you a better understanding of what it is, this is considered a miniaturized PC. Continuing from our previous desk setup video, we're going to see if this little device can power up our entire station. So let's begin. As always, we're going to start off with the unboxing so that we know exactly what we're working with. The packaging contains info of the brand and on the back side, you'll have all the details for the product itself. Removing the lid, you'll be greeted with the device, but we'll just put that aside for now so that we can discuss the rest of the inclusions. Here you'll find all your connectivity needs and accessories. A 65 watt power supply, a 6 foot HDMI cable, and a 6 foot display port cable. You'll also have accessories for a SATA cable and a vase mount if you want to mount your device to something like your monitor, desk, or wall. Now before we connect everything, let me give you a bit of information about the UM350. As stated previously, it's a miniaturized PC. That means it has all the components and capabilities of a computer, all compacted in a tiny device. Starting off with the front exterior, it has a USB-C port, USB 3 Gen 1 port, USB 3 Gen 2 port, headphone jack, a power button, and a reset hole. On the back side, we have two extra USB 3 Gen 2 ports, an HDMI and display port, 2.5 gigs LAN port, and a 19 volt power input. We can open the computer from the top by pushing down so that we can take a look at the hardware. The brain of this computer uses a Ryzen 5 3550H processor. With integrated Radeon Vega 8 graphics, this is a type of CPU chip that you would find in laptops, tablets, smartphones, and any other portable devices. Moving on for the memory, you have 8GB of DDR4 RAM, which is expandable to 16 gigs. The storage is an M.2 256GB SSD with the option to expand for double the storage. You can take that a step further by installing a 2.5 inch external hard drive for even more storage. It has built in Wi Fi if you're not using Ethernet. And lastly, you have the options of Windows or Mac for the operating system. Now that you know the specs, let's put everything together. We'll begin by connecting the power source using the 65 watt power supply into the 19 volt power input on the back side. So since I have two monitors, with my main monitor being 144Hz, we'll connect that via DisplayPort. For my second monitor, it's only 60Hz so we're just going to connect that via HDMI. Now we can include our peripherals starting with our mouse. For this setup, we're going to equip it with the Model O from Glorious. This is the glossy white edition with integrated RGB. I'm going to insert my portable SSD into the USB-C connection because I have programs and files that I want to transfer over. Can't forget about the keyboard, there's nothing special here. We're just going to use our 65% keyboard from Akko. This is the SP Horizon that I have a full review coming out sometime soon. With everything connected, we can now power up the device. A cool feature of the model that I have is that it already comes pre-installed with Windows 10, so it really is just plug and play. All versions have this available aside from the bare bones edition. It doesn't take long to set up a profile and just get right into using it. Of course, the first thing I'm going to do is install some applications that I need. I'll install Steam to get access to Wallpaper Engine and some games that I plan to feature in future videos. For now, we're just going to tidy things up and then prepare to showcase some gameplay. And what better way to do that than to test it out with Osu, considering that most of you that follow this channel play the game yourself. After tweaking the settings to my preference, I was able to play the game like I normally would. Here you can see the gameplay for yourself. There isn't really much to say about this since it's all self-explanatory. The game ran perfectly. There was no lags or issues with adjusting to the new setup. I'm actually excited with this since now I can build a designated area just to play Osu. So maybe I'll do that for a future video. It should be noted that this model is for entry level performances like low intensity games, web browsing, and streaming videos. With that said, we can conclude the video here. The pricing of this device is $400, but that's because it's the highest option that you can pick from this model. You can change the type towards your preference if you're on a budget, with the bare bones edition being as low as $269. It's a really cool device, and I plan to feature it multiple times in future videos. And I do have plans to showcase other cool products in our desk builds moving forward. And that's going to be it for this video. I covered everything I needed to, and I hope you enjoyed today's session. Thank you as always for supporting the channel, and until we meet again, I'll see you later.